Hey, howdy. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be starting to build the Sleeping Beauty Castle. And I just wanted to show the difference between the two. Like, So the original uh, Cinderella ca mini castle um, was for the 50th anniversary. Even though they didn't do the color change, it was the original color of the castle. Um, like right off the bat, you can see the giant differences. I think that they they kind of push this one through fast because it probably should have had some of these masonry bricks in these parts over here on the sides and it should have probably had some masonry bricks um, on the inside also even though the, technically there are no bricks in in the castles <laughs> these masonry bricks um, uh, that that's a super cool feature right there on the back of here, you see, well, we get Aurora. Uh, and then the back does look totally different from the um, the Cinderella Castle. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to get into this thing, start building it. I'm going to be doing it as more of a clean build than a stop motion build, um, just because it is, it's a smaller build. And you know what, I think that people will enjoy it a little bit better that way so let's get let's get started the one thing i'll notice it does not have the push tabs it's got the uh the tape here taped down at the bottom so i'm gonna have to go get a blade so this thing does have 528 pieces set number 40720 Looks like it does have five bags. Let's see. Three, one, four, two, and five. And then the instruction manual. That does not have the barcode. So the first bag here does have Aurora. We'll get into that later. Hey, everybody. We finished the Sleeping Beauty Castle. And take a look at this. So here she is in all of her beauty here, uh, Sleeping Beauty Castle. Um, I have the uh, Cinderella Castle off to the side. Go over that in a few seconds, but we have Aurora here. Um, the build was very similar to uh, the, the uh, Cinderella Castle, but I mean, we got pink, we got blue, um, which fully represents Aurora. Um, like I said before, masonry bricks. There's a lot of masonry bricks. This would actually be a great um, set to part out if you are looking for masonry bricks because, yeah, there's a ton of these masonry bricks all over the place. Like, all over. So, yeah, if you, uh, 40 bucks, get masonry bricks, you get some pink bricks. Um... Yeah, I think I think it's a good part up piece. But it's also a great display piece if you are into Disney, which I am. So normally with Disney um sets, <clears throat> you get Easter eggs, something something that kind of like sparks a, you know, when you're building it, it's like, "Oh yeah, I I know where that goes. I know where that is in Disney World." Um, like the Cinderella castle had a person that is inside the castle. Um, so it, it could be as if you or, well, as if you are walking through the castle or it could even represent Walt Disney standing in the middle of Cinderella castle. With Sleeping Beauty castle, there's no Easter eggs. There's nothing hidden on the inside which kind of is a little dis disappointing. You do get these printed tiles here for the windows. Um, and, and the archway is cool down here. Uh, there's a couple of the pink glowing or like translucent pink um, tiles right there. But other than that, I mean, there's nothing, nothing on the inside. No, no pictures on the inside. Um, I'm 
assuming this is a walkway to to uh, something in Sleeping Beauty Castle, maybe the ride uh, or something. Um, as far as the build went, it, it was a decent build. It was a very good build, five bags. It went relatively fast. Uh, I can't say anything really negative about it. It's a, it's a great set. It's a great dis displayability set. What I would have changed, mm -hmm. Princess Aurora. Um, not necessarily the figure itself, but maybe like did something different with the outfit. What I would have chosen would have been like kind of like a mix between a like half pink, half blue um, outfit representing you know the the witches or the fairy godmothers um who couldn't decide whether to go with pink or blue hence the castle <laughs> um the fact that they gave us a a minifigure the straight out of uh disney cmf uh, the disney the newest disney cmf series the disney 100 series it was kind of lackluster, um, and they didn't even give us the owl, <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's, but it comes with the figure, so if you didn't get Aurora, which I don't know how, because that was literally the only, um, character minifigure that was sitting around on shelves, like, for the longest time, <laughs> but if you didn't get Aurora, you're gonna get her in this set here. Do I think this is a good set? It's a good set for a Disney lover. That's for sure. It's a good set if you want to part it out for the parts. Um, if you're if you're not a person who's going to part it out and, and not a Disney lover, then you're not going to buy this set. But you might buy it for somebody who is a Disney lover. Uh, I I'm going to I'm going to display it proudly. I'm going to try to get a like it for it and. Uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. I'm going to display it up with the other ones. For some reason, I still haven't built the Little Mermaid one. Uh, I'm going to have to do that soon. And I think we're going to go over a detailed look on both the Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella Castle, the mini ones, in a different video, maybe. Let me know if you want to see that. Uh, so that's my review on uh, the mini cinderella castle uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it <clears throat> like i said i i do like it but um i would have changed a couple things that's all <clears throat> um thanks for watching and uh you know we'll talk to you guys in the next one keep building and you guys have a great day bye